two biodigesters were considered for this property so that we can link the biodigester here into the soak away here and then link this particular biodigester also into the soak away here. A real quick one, Dreamhouse Biodigesters. In this video, we are going to show you how we constructed a biodigester, two of them, plus a soak away for a standard family house coming up right now. When I spoke about two bedroom house, what I meant was that two bedroom apartment, two of them. One is going to be at the top and one is at the down. That one is completed and is ready for use. But basically, because there's a bigger plan for the homeowner and they are going to construct the top floor, which is where I'm standing right now, we thought that it's best to get two biodigesters and separate them and then do a soak away, the traditional soak away, just to serve the two of them. We did the usual biodigester, standard family size biodigester. They've been designed solely and ideally for two or more bedroom houses, like two toilets, three toilets. It can even be one bedroom toilet. Yes, and it still doesn't matter, right? So that's the, the digesters that we did. We did two of them. I'm not going to show you how we went about it right now. Obviously, you know, we have other videos that shows in complete step-by-step -step guide how these bio digesters work and how they were done. But for this particular property, we did those two bio digesters, one at each side of the toilet, just to serve that one. So two toilets, and there's going to be two same bedroom at the top. I'm standing on the stairs right now recording this video just to give you a fair idea of how it was done. But then the key differentiator is that the land, when we did assessment, we realized that the land wasn't good and it wasn't going to soak well. So advice to the homeowner was obvious. Get a soak away done. Not any soak away, but a traditional soak away with an option to have an overflow pipe that can be connected to a longer or bigger drainage at the other side of the area. And then we were going to leave an overflow pipe so that in case there's a problem, which sometimes you have to envisage when you're doing biodigesters, then that can be sorted out with a clean out pipe that we are going to put on top of the soak away that can help sort out the issue of wastewater not seeping into the ground. And the truth for this particular house is the land is not that good. When we started digging and we went, we went down, we realized that it's more clay and it wasn't going to soak. If the users, the capacity of the users exceed a certain number of people. So the advice to the homeowner is that if a worst case scenario, we are looking at eight or seven people. If it's more than that, then the option of you having to pump the water out, that's the, the wastewater out, is something that you might have to consider. And it also means you have to get a simple pumping system that can link directly to the overflow pipe and then you can pump the water and you can join the bigger pipe that's going into a bigger drainage. So that's basically what we did for this particular biodigesters. We cited one of the digesters right here and did the pipe connection by ourselves because it was going to be very close to the inlet that is coming out. And this is what you can see. We also provided a clean out on top just to serve as an inspection chamber in case it has to be looked out in the near future. And then the key part here is also that the top one will also come and join this one if it's done in the future. And then the idea is also to have a vent pipe or a vent outlet also at the top there just for this particular biodigester. We did the connection here. You can see this job just finished. And then you can see the connection all the way leading here. We use a three inch pipe just to have the connection done. And this is the soak away. This is the soak away with an overflow pipe underneath and then an inspection chamber as well for it. And then the other biodigester is also here. That one is here with the same mindset. Also, we did it closer to the inlet pipe. So we are going to just have to do the connection ourselves. And that's what we have done. The one from the top will come all the way and then be joined to it. 
Dreamhouse Bio Digesters. Go ahead and like this video. You can also subscribe and be part of us. You can also share the video to those who need to see it so that they can also make a fair judgment on biodegradable waste, biodigest. So the problem that we have had over the months and the years ever since we started doing this biodigesters were basically with the so-called pit that we were doing. It do works in some places, it doesn't work in some cases. So the solution is to make sure that going ahead, when you do a biodigester, the soak away should be your ultimate concern. Where the wastewater is going is should be what should be on your mind, it should be what you should be looking at solving. If you can solve that part, then you know that you are almost halfway there and then you trust the biodigester that you are doing for your house. So in this case, when we came here, we realized the soak pit is not going to work. And there was no immediate gutter also available here for us. So it means that we have to come up with the with the option of a traditional soak away and then let the homeowner know that the cost is going to go up and they, I mean but then there's going to be a, a good usage of it there's going to be a longer use because obviously the wastewater will have an option where you can equally or easily pump it out or you can soak by itself whenever you are ready to use this particular digester and then use it for a long time people can use it two bedroom house top and down the top is not yet done but two biodigesters will have to or were considered for this property so that we can link the biodigester here into the soak away here and then link this particular biodigester also into the soak away here and that's what this video is about